What's going on guys? It is your boy, a word from Mr. Jones, back with another video. Check this out. So we got this Dell laptop here. This Dell laptop is absolutely wonderful. I just love the, it's like this gold finish and it just matches my bracelets. Just check that out. You guys know how I feel about bracelets. I absolutely love bracelets. I prefer bracelets over actual physical jewelry. Rocking with this wonderful Dell laptop. It is a Dell Inspiron 15, which is, it says 5000 series. And it's got AMD E2 processor. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be seeing if we can upgrade this one from a actual, right now it's running windows 10 so we want to upgrade it to windows 11. check this out before we get to the video if this is your first time watching this youtube channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification so that way you can receive the notification from youtube when you know the next time i post a video or whenever i do a live game streaming you know you know we get to we get to do some cool stuff here so stay tuned subscribe hey and hit that notification button uh, I got my laptop in front of me. You guys probably won't be able to see it, but just trust that I have it with me. I'm gonna try to see if I can lift it up real quick without disconnecting and stuff. But as you can see, here's the laptop. It's right in front of me. Okay. So we're gonna place this laptop back down. That's not. So it goes up underneath here. All right, excellent, excellent. All right, so. Let's go ahead and switch the screen so you guys can see. All right, so we are looking at uh, the laptop here. And as you can see, the link below, it says a word from MrJones.com. So yeah, definitely check out their website to get your merch. So right now we're running Windows 10. We're gonna see if we can do a uh, upgrade from there. So first thing I'm gonna do is just go to Google and type Windows 11. And it's gonna be the download. Okay, so that's the first thing. We're gonna download from the Microsoft website, okay? As you can see, www.microsoft.com, okay? So that's legit. Click on that one. So with the Windows 11 installation assist, it's basically going to perform some data analysis of your current system setup. It's gonna analyze your current operating system, which right now we're running Windows 10. It's gonna look at the hardware specs, specifications, and it's gonna you know, define, okay, all right, so you do meet the hardware specs for Windows 11, these are your options. Do you wanna just do a Windows 10 upgrade to 11, or do you wanna do a clean install of Windows 11, which will include removal of the Windows 10 operating system partition, which is gonna include whatever data's on it. So if you got personal data, pictures, videos, anything that's highly important, before you do anything, back that up to a hard drive, a USB drive, something that's not specifically the actual hard drive on your device, all right? We don't have anything that's important on here that if we lose, we're gonna be in a crunch. No, we're good. So what we're gonna do is, I think we're just gonna go with the Windows 11 installation assist, just you know, so you guys can see the process. But commonly, what I typically do is, I usually do a download Windows 11 disk ISO, and then I will put it on a bootable USB drive. We're gonna go and proceed with the Windows 11 installation assist. All right, so it's downloading the executable. We're gonna launch the Windows 11 installation assist. So right now it's checking for device compatibility. It's gonna look at our hardware specifications and see if it's uh, compatible for Windows 11. Use PC Health to check app to check compatibility. Is there any way to actually skip, you know? There's no software on here that I really need to be stressed out about being compatible. All of the software on here can be, you know, removed, deleted. So I wish they kind of put something like that on here, like, yep, oh, skip. All right, so we're just waiting for this uh, compatibility thing to come up. Yeah, I'm expecting it to take me to a website that says something about check compatibility app. Let me move this out of my way. I, was, I wanted to look at the performance real quick. How much memory is on this thing? This laptop must have had uh, Windows 7 on it. With those specs. 
Windows 11 hardware requirements. Minimal hardware requirements. Four gigs, one gigahertz. All right. So let's see, can I exit that? Okay, so that's all that does. It doesn't give me any other options. For some reason, the Windows 11 installation assist, it's, it's not working. It wants to do a app compatibility check and it's not allowing us to to bypass that like there's no app on this laptop that we truly care to like whoa hold up we're not doing this windows 11 upgrade no this is a home user laptop all of the apps on here can be removed reinstalled so we should be, have the option to skip now i can see if this is in a business setting yes you want to check for software compatibility especially if you're in the healthcare industry so let's go ahead and um let's try a different option let's go back and what we'll, we'll do option two we'll do option two we'll go down from the list all right all right so now what we're going to do is option two option one we uh that was the windows 11 installation assist that did not work for us we ran it to some uh app compatibility questionnaire which would not allow us to proceed past that step all right so now we're going to do the media creation tool technically if i'm not mistaken the media creation tool is supposed to be the software to take that iso and download it into a specific uh, bootable usb drive all right guys so now we are at the windows 11 setup so our two options is to select a language in an edition of windows 11 installation so by default, it's Windows 11 in English. So let's see, use the recommended options for this. Proceed, it's media to use. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do a USB drive. We need at least eight gigs free. Okay, so I'm gonna get those USB drives cleared up. I'm gonna pop our USB drive in. I would typically format the USB drive, but I'm gonna see exactly if it's just going to reformat itself. So it sees, my USB drive, which says it's on the go. <laughs> my USB drive is on the go. <laughs> it's downloading Windows 11. So this option right here, it definitely confirms that right now what we're doing is creating a bootable Windows 11 setup USB drive. That in fact is what we're doing. So we're downloading the Windows 11 setup ISO from Microsoft website all the way down from our network to our USB drive, which is gonna be configured as a bootable Windows 11 setup. As I was saying before, guys, the link below this video basically says it worked for mrjones.com. This is where you can go get your exclusive merchandise that I've made. So it's only exclusive to YouTube viewers. So that's the cool thing about it. Only exclusive to the YouTube viewers. The Windows 11 is officially set up on our usb drive so we are ready to rock and roll so we're going to select finish okay it's going to clean up some files that were in use it looks like the cleanup is finished as you guys can see right here the esd dash usb that's going to be our windows 11 setup just double click i just want to you know see it okay so yep this is what I would typically expect to see for a bootable Windows installation. So now we're going to restart our computer so that way we can boot up to our Windows 11 setup. All right, and we're gonna press power. On my keyboard, there's a key that says F12. I'm gonna keep pressing F12. F12 should bring up our boot menu. That's that. So that's how we get to the boot mode. Again, it's key F12, power on your device, keep pressing F12 and then the boot menu show come up. What we wanna do is select the USB device, which my USB drive is this drive here. So that's gonna have that Windows 11 setup. So I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna select the USB. Yours may say something different, so do keep that in mind. Now this sh should take us to the Windows 11 setup. Sometimes the USB drives such as scan disk and other type of usb uh, drives sometimes they may show two uh usb devices because of the the way that they have the drive kind of formatted but 
Just give it a couple minutes and we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna have to record the next steps from my camera. So this is the first message that we're gonna get. It says Windows setup. Basically, we're gonna select no because we want to form a clean installation of Windows 11. Again, we tried the upgrade way with you know using Windows 11, but Windows 11 has just had some issues. Select next, select install, accept the license agreement, select next. At this screen, you have two options. First option is to do the Windows 11 upgrade, your current operating system, which is likely gonna be Windows 10, to upgrade it to Windows 11. Or the second option is to completely reformat your hard drive, remove Windows 10 operating system, and start off with a clean installation of Windows 11. So we're gonna select the custom. So as you can see, there's multiple partitions here. So I'm going to delete a partition. Let's see, cleaning up these partitions. Typically you'll see multiple partitions whenever you have a uh, computer that has the original operating system image from the manufacturer, which this particular uh, Dell computer did. All right, so there we go. Now we're gonna select next. At this current moment, Windows 11 is installing its operating system onto this device. We're going to allow it to proceed with this installation and we will get back to you guys after everything is done. Stay tuned. Houston, we have some life. So I'm seeing Windows logo pop up. That is absolutely pretty darn cool. So at this screen, you want to ensure that your keyboard layout is correct. Once you confirm, select yes to continue. So if you have a secondary keyboard, you will also add it here. I don't have a secondary, so I'm gonna just skip this step. All right guys, so at this screen, it's asking us that we need to connect a internet connection for us to proceed with the Windows 11 setup. Now, I just want to just, just kind of spin this one around. You want to enable your connection to get to the next step. But when we get to the part where we need to set up a Microsoft account, it's not gonna allow us to create a local account like we normally do with our Windows operating system installations. So when we get to that point, we want to disconnect our connection, all right? I'm gonna get my Wi-Fi reconnected, disabled by the keyboard. So I'm gonna press the key on the keyboard to reconnect it. It's going to establish an internet connection and now I can select next. Once we get to the screen where it says set up our Microsoft account, I'm going to disable my Wi-Fi connection on my laptop. Again, I have a key on a keyboard that I can press. Uh, it's the FN, which stands for function button. And then right by print screen, there's a Wi-Fi signal that represents the wireless adapter. So I can basically select that in a disabled connection. But first, let's go ahead and uh, name our device. So at this screen, we're just gonna give it a name. Let's give it any, any type of name. Now, after it creates the computer name, then we'll be able to create an account. Uh, I'm gonna create a local account. So in order for me to create a local account, I need to bypass this next screen, uh, which is basically gonna be for creating a Microsoft account. This is the screen that I was referring to, guys. If you have a Microsoft account, I would recommend you to just type that in so that way you can sign in with that particular account. Now, say for instance, if you're doing this installation for a uh, customer, then what I would highly recommend is that you create a local account. Create a local account, you need to disable that internet connection on that device. This laptop has a uh, wireless button to uh, enable or disable the adapter. So I'm gonna press that button. I need to press the function button, I'll press and hold that down, and then press the wireless button and boom now my internet connection on this laptop should be disabled so once that connection is disabled you're going to go to no account you're going to select create one all right so here we're going to type in a name all right so here we're going to type in a password let me see if i can proceed without a password 
and we were able to create a local account without having to stress out man how to bypass that windows <laughs> microsoft account screen that's the way to bypass it disable that internet connection and you can create yourself a local account so at this particular screen we can define our privacy settings we can always come back and you know reconfigure that all right so as you guys can see we are now creating our windows 11 profile it may take some time but eventually it will get created and then we'll be able to see exactly uh you know what cool features we have got a taste can't erase bitterness in my face work a job every day till your dreams fade away like a card never change play the game now we say i need a break Don't all right guys strong. windows 11 is officially officially installed i absolutely just love the gui which is you know graphical user interface geek talk i love the layout simple terms i love the layout this is wonderful you know let's click on the blue button the blue windows which is the uh windows <laughs> the blue windows which is the windows this is wonderful actually i want to see exactly what does it look like when it restarts let's see how it looks when it restarts now keep in mind this laptop only has four gigs of memory at the time it's eventually going to get bumped up but let me tell you this this is a wonderful nice laptop it just needs some some memory and if it doesn't have a solid state drive you know i would i would have installed that first it's got some uh you know recommended apps that are pinned so this is more so popular apps to be able to access xbox spotify disney you got amazon prime video tiktoks instagram facebook you know some of the popular apps out there by default it's using microsoft edge so if we uh click on edge that should pop up with that app far right icon in the middle that's the microsoft store so that's pretty darn cool too so we're gonna go ahead and launch that it looks like it has skype pre-installed that might be skype but i'm not gonna click on that it's first time load so i would expect some sort of delay so we're gonna start without data I'm not going to select any type of theme. Again, this is not my laptop. This is more so for a customer. So I'm not trying to, you know, play around too much with the settings, uh, nor am I trying to do too much of exploring because, you know, the more you explore, the more data is saved, the more changes that's done. You know, you want the customer to be able to get that first experience with playing around with the Windows 11 system. So that's as far as that I'm going to go. Basically showed you guys exactly how to install Windows 11 on your laptop. Again, this was a clean installation of Windows 11, which is something that I highly recommend. I highly recommend that you do a clean installation so that way you can get that true experience. Doing an upgrade, you may be bringing on bad data that you had with your previous operating system. So start off from a clean slate, back up all your data onto a hard drive, and then do a Windows 11 clean installation. On that note guys, please be sure to hit that like button, drop a comment if you found this video helpful. And if this is your first time watching a video on, on my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and definitely hit that notification so that you will receive an alert next time I make a video upload or when I'm doing a live stream game plan. Especially, you know, my live stream game plan, you might be able to hop on the game too, you know, shout, you know, see me, see me, see me out there. But uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. Appreciate the love. Holla at y'all later. Peace.